Okay, so this is the rear sensor light uh, that will be fitted just up there. We've got a dual power socket which will be fitted behind the door. So basically I'll be working out here and we'll be able to run power straight uh, from, from the exterior without uh, trailing anything through. Uh, well, the light switch. Then got the uh, entry point for the power there. The lighting cable will run through there, and we've got additional lighting cable that will come through. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, but next to these armoured cables, which is for the... Oh, that's for the switch, I think. Um, for the lighting for the garden. So that's the armoured cable, which will be landed up here. So you've got the switch and the power, so that will all run inside here and will insulate and board that. And then all the cables will run through. back up to where the consumer unit is going to be located, which is uh, just up here. Uh, with those dual sockets there for the workbench, and then we've got dual sockets on this wall, which basically go up, I believe that's marked at 120mm from the, uh, the, the top, so it would be about 150 from the top and then you've got the lighting so there'll be strip lighting just under here and strip lighting along the top this is the light switch for the lights at this end um, there's gonna be a wall and a door so this will be a smaller unit inside here and then these are the uh, cables that run out and again, 120 mil from the top. Uh, these two here, actually the uh, strip lighting that will go inside here. And then runs down for, we've got external sensor lighting up there. And then we've got dual socket dual socket and then dual sockets under the workbench so the workbench will be about 900 mil off the floor so these ones will be on top of the workbench and this is at the bottom and the uh, this is a telephone cable that actually goes into the house so that goes down and, and in and then we've got 10 mil armoured cable which comes through on this point uh, so it's looped around here so any rainwater will drip off onto the bottom and at the bottom we've got a 6 mil armoured cable which actually is curled up outside for um, electric car charging and then we'll box this off These are the uh, Cat 5s into the house, so I'll need to uh, extend them and tape that up. There's a bit of a breakage on that. Hopefully the integrity of the cable is okay.